I had a secret diner in there, and this is what he saw. Hello. We'll grab some lunch. Do we yeah, just you just grab a seat, do you? Yeah, okay, great. I love that. I love the fact you do dripping. Ready to start, actually. Yeah. Such a good idea. The dripping, you'd have your, your roast, and then the dripping you'd have throughout the week spread on the bread. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Cheap, cheerful, slightly nostalgic, really nice, and look how happy, you know, customers sound. Really good. All right, this is ox tongue corned beef. Nowhere near seasoned enough. Very bland. That's quite disappointing, actually. It's such a shame, because the, the, the diner shot up. Wow, dripping, etc. Uh, and then bang, oh, shit. When you've got the balls to put corned beef and ox tongue on a plate, that simply, it has to be seasoned perfectly. We've actually changed that already, because we read the comment card that night. Just a lack of seasoning, you feel? It was essentially a lack of seasoning, yeah. yeah. You know, thanks a lot. Oh, really? Oh, well, I wasn't expecting that. I know, I'm perfectly, I'm perfectly happy to pay for it. I'd like to pay for it. No, I'd like to pay for it. Really? Really? They won't let us pay. No charge, nice gesture. Gives him no reason to complain about it. I love the way he was so patient and so polite. Really polite. On several occasions, we've seen some really succinct and um, very focused ability in the kitchen with very well sourced food. And then you get things like these, this bowl of chips. You know. Pubs, not even places that claim to be call themselves gastro pubs that serve better chips than that. It's useless. Mmm. Burnt chips. It's a simple, stupid mistake that shouldn't really happen, mm. ever. Can I have a word with the chef? Is the chef, is the chef around? Yeah. Well, no, I want to talk to him about something. I want to talk to him about that. Look at that. Would you eat that? Would you eat that? No. So why should I eat it? Well, no, I want to talk to chef. Thanks. How about the dessert menu? Yeah, I'd love to. All oh, right. Hi there. Brilliant. Well, they've gone now, but I wanted to talk to you. I know they haven't noticed. Why is it? Why two or three trainees upstairs? I'm trying to teach. Right. How to cook. Sometimes we have slight issues with tables, especially when I'm like rooms and tables out. So we do understand that there is slight issues with dishes. But I need to train chefs, especially the chef, to bring them up. Right. What we do is stand but I just wondered why you allowed that chip to go out when it was burnt. Because I wasn't in there at the time I was in the cooking school. Because I had to really? go back in and back out. Sounds like you're trying to do quite a lot up there. I do have a lot to do. Do you know what I mean? So I understand there's issues. Well, look, you better get back up there, but thanks for coming down. All right. Bye. I thought you were going to blow a gasket, to be honest. I could cry. I could cry. A chip goes out like it's on the back of an arse end of a, a, a takeaway van. There's flashes of brilliance in there, and it works in such a magical way, and yet you bust your balls. Fresh bread, rearing pigs, cooking school. You know, slow down and focus on what you've got. The chips were burnt. They shouldn't have been burnt. Should have been absolutely fine, they should have been fantastic. The guy should have been picking them out of the bowl, saying, My god, these are fucking amazing chips. We've seen a lot of problems that we do need to solve, but we've also seen a lot of strengths that we know we have got. So, as long as we bring everything together, tighten it up, I think we can improve and we can make things better than they ever have been. Yeah.